Willie in another good day in the re-signing front, Declan McDade back to the club. You must be pretty happy about that. Yeah, absolutely. He had, a, he had a terrific season last season. Although, as you heard me saying that to him, it counts for nothing now because it's a, it's a higher level he's at. Um, but we're very confident he can he can progress and, and produce like he did, he did last season. You know, he's got real competition in that area because, you know, I think Declan, Alan Forrest and Craig McGuffey, I'm not sure you'll get two of them in the team. The, the, you, you might sometimes get two, but most of the time it'll just be one of them. So whoever's doing the best... Uh, will play so it, it, it just means for us as a club that the forward areas are now taken care of with, with quite a lot of quite exciting players when you consider it Shanklin and Moore Moffat McGuffey Forrest McDade and even adding Robbie Crawford into that equation so that's that part of the team taken care of and uh, the other thing about Declan was you know the hold up I've got to say wasn't Declan's fault you know I need to state that but um He's a very, very popular boy within the dressing room as well, which was a big thing for us. And uh, it now just leaves one from last season that I'm trying my best to get something for. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. That be David Ferguson. Yes, yes, I had him in, and I, I want to sign him, but we just need to kind of, you know, secure the funds for it because we know we need a goalkeeper, which I'm quite far down the road and probably won't be able to announce that for a week or two. But I'm pretty sure I've got the one I want. Um, uh, we need a left back. Uh, which we'll see what happens with that in the next week or so. And also, I think it, we, we most certainly need a centre-back and maybe even a midfield player. And I've, as I've said before uh, to you, Callum, that whether we'll get all that, those players in, I, I don't know. But we, we certainly uh, need a, a goalkeeper on the left-back. That's an absolute must. Uh, I'd like David back big time. Uh, and I'd certainly, I think, I'd prioritise a centre-back over a midfield player. Albeit in an ideal world, if I got all that, that'd be 18 first-team players, outfield players and two goalies, which is, I wouldn't want to run with any bigger squad than that, to be honest. Again, you bring up the thing, if the finances are right, if you can do that mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, yet again, you're talking about this financial element. Mm -hmm. Last time we were talking, you were saying, well, there's not really a chance of getting extra cash, and mm. even though you'd be hammering it uh, yeah. on the store, yeah. what kind of things are going to allow you to do this? Then? Well, just being the Jano of a shot, I mean, it, it, I think the EU 500 is up to nearly 130, 140 members, and it's almost 6k in, in the close season. So, you know, if we can get that up to 200 members contributing monthly, whatever it may be, two, two and a half k every month, it would be a huge help. And ob obviously, the season books. You know, they were out late, in my opinion. You know, but, you know, we need to try and kick on with them. You know, we're in a league now where, for example, Dunfermline sell, I think they're up to 2,500 now. Obviously, I don't expect us to sell that. Hopefully, a few few years from now, yes. You know, and the other clubs selling a lot more. But, you know, for us, we, we need to go up to seven, eight, nine hundred. And uh, whether we can or not, I don't know. But we need to we need to push on in that to, to try and move the club forward. You were talking about Dunfermlands and other clubs. Well, today's the day that the the new league fixtures have come out. Um, meeting up with Partick Thistle again just after the cup. Yeah, but brilliant. how does that feel like when you look at that on paper now? It's it's well, quite, quite a moment. Yeah, I mean, one of the things is I've, you know I looked through very briefly, but I think I find it pointless because every single game's hard. You know, last season you looked at games and you thought, well, if we play at all, we've got a good chance of winning. That's how confident was with our players well when we had the full squad to pick from that is this year now I mean you go to Inverness and they say there's and, and Ross County and all these teams you, you're not going to get an easy game but I must admit I'm thrilled it's part of this so I'm you know I'm from the west end of Glasgow the first game of the season and I know from my my four years in charge there that one of their favourite eight away days is Aire United so I'm expecting Thistle to bring a real good crowd down and with us you know, our first game since winning the title on that very special day. We we should expect a bumper crowd that day and, and, and recognise that, you know, it won't be easy because we're playing against the team in the Premier League last year and we were in League One. So, But at home at Somerset with our crowd, you know, anything's possible. Tomorrow's the first day of training. Mm -hmm. You've talked about uh, getting them out there, getting them mm -hmm. running and whatever. What is the position just now with injuries, with the people coming back? Well, the first thing I'd say about that is for the first time in 20 years of management, I'm not going to weigh the players and I'm not going to do any fitness tests. I'm not going to take body fats because I just trust them so much. You know, there's five or six of my personal trainers, you know, like Higgins and Shanklin, Moore, Moffat, you know, so I'm just not going to do it. I trust them. 
Um, Higgins and Ross Doherty are coming on very, very well. They've been down all week training with Stephen Maguire, which is just, I, I can't go over how much of a boost it is to have Stevie back and really getting things organised. I mean, just had a wee meet with him there. And he's top draw, and not just as a physio, as a person. And I think it's a real boost for the players. It was, everything's been up and down for the last two years, waiting on Stevie getting better, which took its toll on, on us and more so probably his family. Um, so I, I think they should be back. I think Higgy was running today, actually. I think that you'd be looking for them to come back into full training first week, second week in July, and, and certainly be available for the, 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 the games at the end of July and the, the league opener at the start of August. How, how important is it to you to get these two players back to fitness early on? Well, listen, we're going to, even if I can get these players, we're going to have a really small squad. You know, there's no doubt about that. So we can't have the injuries we had last season, and I'm confident with Stevie. Unless it's a freak injury, unless it's a unless it's a, a, a Robbie Crawford injury with his teammate standing right in his foot and breaking one of his bones, you can't help things like that. But all the wee niggles, I think, will be treated better and, uh, and there'll be more fluency about it. And um, So I don't expect to have as many. But suffice to say, if we go in this season, you know, and, and for months we have four or five or six players out, it, you know, th that will seriously hamper us. We won't be able to cope with that. So... Uh, we're looking for maybe a wee bit of luck and, and, and for the physio side of things to be a bit better run. That's not having a go at the physios that were here. It was just so up and down because there were so many people doing it. Now it's Stephen Maguire and uh, we're very confident in his abilities to, to try and keep everybody uh, as fit as possible. So just as a little look inside your head just now. That's a scary place. Yeah, yeah, I'm a bit worried about yeah, going there. But yeah. <laughs> you, have you got in your mind a line-up you want to see in that first day? Have you got an idea? Yeah, I've got an idea. I've, I've got an idea of, of who I think will be, if they maintain what I think there will be automatic choices. I mean, I, I think Rose is one. I think Shanklin's one. I think Crawford's one. And everybody else is up for debate. So I, the, the main thing is, I think, for our... Uh, I, I'm saying there, if they don't play well enough, they won't be in a team, as simple as that. But I think that one thing I really want to be able to do is not change how we play, you know, not change the formation. There might be a tweak in it last year, but we were never allowed to do it because we didn't have all the bodies fit in the midfield areas. But it does interest me to have two strikers with one playing off them, with three midfield players. Um, obviously, your fullbacks flying a wee bit higher then. Um, but but the, the type of football we played... Which didn't always come off, but when it did, it was great. And you, you, you did a great video of 100 goals. You know, some of them were, the moves involved in them were just absolutely fantastic. So that's still the type of football we want to play. And I couldn't really care less at its upper level. That's how we'll play. You know, I, I think my job is that if, if things don't, don't go right for 10, 12 games, then maybe things get changed and maybe we play a different way. But I'm determined not to. I'm determined to, to make sure our punters that come to the games, which I hope are loads, are, are, are thoroughly entertained. Well, can I just ask you, there, when you're thinking about your left back that you're trying to mm -hmm. set, are you therefore thinking of someone with a great engine, but has to have a bit of that skill to be able to get down those... Well, I'm just thinking of a, a left back who I think's going to be comfortably good enough, and one that we hope, if I manage to get him, uh, could be good enough to, to move on, to move forward, to move ahead of, of our club. So. Um, I, I've got one in mind and we're deep in the discussion unfortunately he's away just now um, but it would be a good one for us if I go yeah, again Ian thank you very cheers. much cheers cheers Cam